good morning and those who are concentrating and conducting check cases <coughs> uh, probably few may be aware about the entire provisions of the negotiable instrument act but youngsters concentrate only 138 to uh, 148 of negotiable instrument act for the purpose of conducting uh, check cases check bounce cases but actually unless and until you are full aware about the entire act provisions you may not be conducting the case effectively and apart from that for your kind information the negotiable instrument act uh, initially uh, there was several attempt to bring that act into force uh, from 1960 one onwards and finally only in the year 19 1881 sorry 1877 1867 several attempts were made to bring this act and finally <clears throat> the 1881 act was brought into force and that was given effect from 13 1882 because uh, several objections were there initially mm. whether this negotiable instrument act uh, is enacted on the basis of english law or uh, indian customs and usage of checks so the negotiable instrument act 1881 i would like to bring certain provisions for your kind of perusal and check section 4 of negotiable instrument act says what is the definition of promissory note promissory note a promissory note is an instrument in writing not being a bank note or currency note containing unconditional undertaking signed by the maker to pay a certain sum of money only to or to the order of a person or to the bearer of this instrument therefore if anything new words is added any new conditions is added the promissory note may be treated as money bond then you have to pay court fee pro rata basis that you see the Uh, that is most important uh, not more than that i promise to pay to the bearer or by order a sum of p so and so so and so only to to it any interest is there that that, that should be the verdict of the promise you know then you can affix stamp of rupees uh, probably one or two rupees if uh, you say that uh, i am ready to repay by monthly installment or if you say that uh, i will pay by 6 month then that will be treated as money bond that is most important then bill of exchange the bill of exchange is a term of undi undi is uh, prevailed in uh, uh, india hand means <coughs> became undi actually bill of exchange means uh, it is during a business transaction uh, on delivery of goods uh, suppose uh, the person who purchased the goods or stored the goods uh, must uh, to repay he may issue a bill of exchange that means a undi declaring that uh, I, i promise to pay some of the so and so after on or after the date particular date should be mentioned by order or to so and so so and so this uh, bill of exchange uh, may be endorsed to third party the person who receives this bill of exchange so this is the word the bill of exchange instrument in writing containing unconditional order signed by the maker directing a certain person to pay a certain sum of money only to or to order of certain person or to the bearer of a instrument this is what uh, Uh, bill of exchange check you can understand it is being issued by the banker then another important uh, holder in due course that 
That what I said. If the purchase, the purchaser of the goods issues to bill of exchanger to the uh, supplier, and probably the supplier who receives the bill of exchanger may have to <coughs> pay the raw wood supplier. Supplier. Then he may endorse that bill of exchange to that person. So that person will become due holder in due course. That is most important section nine of the negotiable instrument. <coughs> Section thirteen defines the negotiable instrument. Negotiable instrument means promissory note or bill of exchange or cheque payable either to order or to bearer. So only these three things will be treated as negotiable instrument. What is negotiation? Why this word negotiation comes to uh, be incorporated in the negotiable instrument act? Because when uh, you have been given <coughs> Uh, bill of exchange, promising to pay a certain amount on a particular date, and if you want uh, early money, you can uh, endorse that bill of exchange to some third party by discounting. Suppose you you, you must uh, you ma you are entitled for uh, uh, two lakhs, then you can by endorsing that negotiable to to some third party, you can receive one lakh fifty thousand. And four feet in the fifty thousand. This is where they go. That is why negotiable means bargaining. That therefore the negotiable instrument word is there. <coughs> the uh, then the question arises: uh, in short stamped instrument, in short stamp inter, uh, uh, instrument means uh, filling up or filling up not uh, not uh, properly written. And what is the fate of that uh, in short uh, uh, stamped instrument is most important. Then. <coughs> <clears throat> uh, this is also most important. When day of maturity is a holiday, suppose the on the particular date you have to present uh, that uh, hundi, on that uh, day becomes holiday, then you can uh, present it uh, for next previous business day. That is why when government is suddenly declaring holidays. <laughs> The government should declare the holiday by stating whether the it is the holiday is under negotiable instrument act or under non-negotiable instrument act. Therefore, <coughs> uh, that is most important the day of mature day of uh, uh, maturity on particular holiday. Then question arises. <coughs> Section forty three deals with negotiable instrument made or without consideration. Consideration means unless and until something is passed to the person may not execute, and that is we have to deal, uh, <coughs> deal with different. This is another important section under Negotiable Instrument Act on when you deals with uh, suits for promissory note and uh, bill of exchange presentation and check presentation. Holders right to duplicate of like where a bill of exchange has been lost before it is overdue, the person who was the holder of it may apply to the drawer to give him another bill of the same tenor, giving security to the drawer if required to indemnify him against all person whatever in case the bill alleged to have been lost shall be found again. Suppose if you lost your uh, bill, you can claim claim a duplicate bill by executing. Indemnity part. <clears throat> What is the fate of instrument obtained by unlawful means or unlawful consideration? Is defined under Section 58. If suppose uh, at the police station, if some uh, police official coerces the person to execute the instrument, then this will be come under Section 58. That uh, we have to uh, look into separate uh, uh, with case laws. Then 65. There we have uh, read about a day here hours of presentment. Presentment for payment must be made during the usual hours of business, if at bankers within banking hours. So that is most important. It is also subject to vary. Then <clears throat> even if the interest is not uh, mentioned in a uh, <clears throat> promissory note or check, whatever it may be. Then you can say eighteen <coughs> percent per annum interest may be claimed. That we have to deal with independently. Uh, 
uh, if you want to understand that those provisions. <coughs> then question of uh, dishonor of checks uh, that is deal under chapter chapter eight dishonor by non acceptance uh, mode in which notice may be given for dishonoring the check. Uh, here it says section for ninety four. If the notice is duly directed and sent by post and miscarries, such miscarries does not render the notice invalid. This is also most important. You have to uh, understand when you deals with check cases. Then the question of protest is deals with under section hundred. Uh, all that we will look into independently. Then question of compensation. But because of latest amendment, compensations are being awarded for check bounce cases. What should be the grounds for compensation? That is, 111 rules as to compensation. So, at the time of drafting complaint, you can go through this provision section 117 of the Negotiable Instrument Act and incorporate the necessary amendment in the complaint that you are entitled for compensation. Then special rules of evidence. That is also most important. Suppose uh, <coughs> check is not properly filled up, uh, check is simply signed. Uh, what will be presumption? That is 118. That you have to uh, de uh, deeply go through and also draft in such a way, claiming that uh, the presumption was there that the instrument was properly signed. Then about cross check which deals with chapter 16. Then international law bill of sets all those things. Then question arises 138. So 138 dishonor of check for insufficiency of the funds of the account. You while you are drafting apart from mentioning everything, you have to categorically say that the check was issued for legally enforceable debt, and when uh, and when it was presented for. Uh, Honoring the check, the bank returned it uh, since uh, the, he did not arrange for sufficiency of fund. So this is way, <coughs> and section one thirty eight says there is some exception for <coughs> uh, the one thirty eight may not apply. Here the section says one thirty eight is six month. Uh, now that has been uh, amended. Then question of presumption in favor of the holder. The holder who is having the check is entitled check or in a negotiable instrument is entitled for honoring of the check. That uh, that are you if you say that the check was uh, uh, given to him or he found it, <coughs> whatever may be your defence, he that defence you have to discharge by evidence. It is your duty for. Proving that uh, the person who presented the check is not a person holder in due course. Then question of cognizance of funds as necessary things which should be ing necessary ingredients to claim for uh, one thirty eight negotiable instrument act. Then most important section after amendment in the year two thousand eighteen with effect from one nine two thousand eighteen. Why I am reading these dates? You see. There may be appeal revisions pending before the Honorable High Court, which may not be covered under uh, 143A because of date of implementation of this particular section. So there, number one, at the time of pending case, you can file application for compensation. Mm. Uh, the court may order compensation for uh, that amount. Mm. Then 20 percent of the amount of check you can claim for compensation. Then after filing appeal also, the appellate court can insist for a deposit of 20 percent of the check amount. This is most important. Then they say <coughs> section 421 of Code of Criminal Procedure may be used for recovery of a compensation. These things are and another 145 Evidence Act says. That uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, there is a deviation by, for evidence act wherein you cannot uh, put leading questions. Uh, therefore, you can file simply filing affidavit. That means it is nothing but a 
चीफ एग्जामिनेशन बाय लीडिंग पर्सन सो लेटर ऑन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट 147 डील्स विद वी हैव इन सेल बी कंपाउंडेबल कैन बी कंपाउंडेबल 148 डील्स विद अपर कोर्ट टू ऑर्डर फॉर पेमेंट पेंडिंग अपील अगेंस्ट द कन्विक्शन Yes, I think uh, I have consumed much time uh, to describe because an act is seems to be very important, and the livelihood of several youngsters uh, and the criminal court lawyers uh, <coughs> were fed up for about uh, several de- two decades without any cases. But only this negotiable instrument act, uh, as well domestic violence act, only facilitating young lawyers uh, to concentrate on criminal side practice. Kindly go through this best wishes.